Hello, my name is Abe, and welcome back once again to FTL Faster Than Light Advanced Edition. On this run, I think, I think, I think, I think, we're going to be playing as the Swallow. This is the last ship that we need in order to complete all of the ship victories, and I'm very much looking forward to actually maybe getting this done. Uh, I'm going to make one change before we start, and that is I'm going to swap the... Uh, weapons personnel and the Lanius. I think I like having a weapons personnel on the engines and the Lanius on the weapons because if I get a teleporter, I'm going to be using a Lanius. If we have borders, I'm going to be using the Lanius. And I would prefer to keep the dodge chance intact by having these, these systems manned. So I think the Lanius being able to uh, move about the ship uh, a little bit more freely without having to worry about the dodge chance is a little bit more important than just having him man the engine. So I'm going to have human on engines, Lanius on weapons, and we're, we'll just move on from there. Do I like this ship? Yes, I like this ship. The Ion Stunner and the Dual Lasers are both pretty decent weapons. The Dual Lasers, in fact, are one of the better weapons in the game. It's a one power for two shots for, what is it, like 10 second charge time? Yeah, 10 seconds. That's pretty much unbeatable. The Burst Laser Mark I is worse in, uh, I think, every respect. It takes longer to charge, more power, same number of shots, but again, it's why not just have a dual laser? Ion Stunner, I actually like it because it does prevent the enemies from repairing shield systems if you can land in shots. So, you know, hopefully we can make this run work. We've made, you know, worse runs work in the past. What is this? You've jumped into the aftermath it seems to have been a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage drifts by your screens, and you can still see the remains of the dying ships sparking and breaking apart. It's hard to determine who the combatants were without closer investigation. I believe if you have a slug, you can get a guaranteed blue option from this. I think this is like a, a filler event. I'm going to scan the wreckage and just pick up two missiles, one drone part, and nine scrap. That's pretty good. Thank you, second level sensors. It's kind of weird that we have second level sensors. Normally you don't have that on starting ships unless it's a, a boarding ship. I don't really care about what the enemy crew composition is. I'm just going going to be damaging their hull and weapon systems pretty much non-stop. We're definitely going to be attacking these slavers. Hopefully they don't iron or uh, hack a bad system. They do not oxygen. Honestly, I don't really care all that much. They could do a lot of damage to me, but I'm probably just going to... Ugh, those were bad misses. I'm probably just going to bring down my shields, let the ions land, and then bring up my shields after the uh, ions come in. Just so that uh, by doing this, I mean, we did dodge a lot of shots, but by doing this, we, um, if, the, uh, if the shield system doesn't get hit, we can still get out of the way of this beam. So that seemed to have worked all right. Ion Stunner going in on shields. Since the Ion Stunner and the Dual Laser have the same charge time, I'm just going to be basically be auto-firing continuously. And with their weapons being down, why not go for a shot on their hacking system? Force their pilot to have to go deal with that, and also just uh, keep our oxygen from decreasing a little bit too much. Easy ship. Kind of lucky that we didn't take damage there. Those ions, if they landed in shields, could have let, let their beam do a number on us, but luckily we managed to make it out of that okay. Uh, second level clone bay? <sighs> da, 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 da. Probably not. All things considered equal. There's a lot of beacons to go to, so I don't mind jumping forward and down. I'm probably going to save and get the shields upgraded first. Second level med bay is important. Second level clone bay is not as important, especially if you're not boarding. I am going to try to invade this ship. Uh, I do not like the fact that it's a Zoltan super shield, but again, as long as I can micro the shield power correctly, we shouldn't get hit by the beam. It's going to be very difficult. Oh, but we, if we make it work, we make it work. Ion stunner needs to auto fire. I think I have these on backwards. So Ion comes in, we depower the shields, power up the shields, and then ideally the beam fires. Maybe I should have ionized another system. But the beam fires, we depower the shields, we power up the shields, and the Ion missed, first of all, but also it just went into an empty room. Honestly, if it even went into weapons, I wouldn't have cared, because if we're not taking damage, we can wait. We can wait. So Ion go in on shields. 
do a laser, take out their weapons. Now that they have no weapons online, I'm, I'm going to let the ion hit the shield because I don't want it to hit my weapon system. And this should be a pretty easy encounter, all things considered. Take out their oxygen. Only one level of O2, so... If they had one crew, I think we could take down their, their uh, oxygen permanently, but them having two crew, I don't think it's going to work because we would have to... We would have to hit them in the shield room, destroy their shields, and their O2 at the same time, stun them both, prevent them from getting repairs done. But we can't really do that. Just because of the uh, fact that they're going to be able to get the repairs done. We do get... 12 scrap and hull repair, but unfortunately, <laughs> fortunately, unfortunately, we haven't taken any hull damage, so it actually didn't do anything for us. But that's okay. It's not that bad. I don't really mind. Let's jump ahead. Seven more scrap. We can get the all-important second bar of shields. Uh, this encounter worries me a little bit just because of the missile launcher. They have no lasers, no beams, just the ion, which isn't going to do anything. So main mainly it's just about can we only get hit by like one ion weapon here or one missile launcher doesn't really matter that the shields are offline you know what? i'm not i'm not even going to repair the shield system it literally does not matter to me if we have shields they only have one ion as long as the ion doesn't take out my uh, weapon system yeah piracy cannot be forgiven attack okay good i, I thought it was going to land on the uh, weapons but fortunately it did not why am I not going to repair the shield system? Because I can get training by having him continuously fire the weapons, so why not just do that? Fire in the weapons room. They're not going to get that repaired for quite some time, so this is going to be a very easy victory here. We got hit for two points of damage thanks to that missile, but you know it's going to happen until we get some missile defense. Ooh, but we do get 13 scrap plus 9 thanks to that civilian ship and an anti-personnel drone which is really nice because that's something that we can sell for a good amount of scrap. Not as much as the boarding drone, though. The boarding drone is... It's a more complex drone because you have to launch it at the enemy ship. It uses more power, and as a result, it's more expensive. But this should net us at least 15, 17, 20 scrap, something like that. Uh, with 65 and no store in sight, I do think I get the second bar of shields. Even if I do not have the reactor power for it, I can always micro my power. You know, depower a oxygen and engine and put it into the shields, and we should be fine. Like for now. There is no reason not to have the shields powered up to level 2 because it makes us immune to any damage on this encounter. Now we, all we have to do is wait. Lissandra on weapons, slowly getting trained up. There's no reason not to shoot. Like, even if we miss the Ion Stunner, we might as well get some damage in. Things, you know, these weapons take about the same length of time to charge. You know, the whole deal is that the Ion Stunner takes out one bar of, the sh bar of shields, and the Dual Laser takes out uh, any remaining bars and does damage. This is effectively just a Burst Laser Mark II, just not as good. But I do like the whole stun thing, because we can stun the crew, maybe start a fire in the room. Nah, we're not going to kill him. If they all were in the med bay, maybe I could stun them and start a fire in the med bay, but... You know, without a, uh... Ooh, let's get the O2 powered up now, since we're done with the combat. Without a, uh... Hacking system, without a firebomb, without a, uh... Mind control. Uh, it's gonna be almost impossible for us to actually kill crew. Which is fine, it's fine. It's fine. You know, we don't need to kill crew. At least not right now. All right, we can get the shields and some dodge chance and some oxygen, which is going to be good for us since we so we don't suffocate. Although, worst case scenario, we just have the Lanius do everything. I will delay the Rebels for 10 scrap. It delays them by two jumps, allows us to go to pretty much every single beacon here before the exit. And as long as we get more than 10 scrap on average between the next two jumps, we're fine. You know, we will have made scrap on this trade. If we don't, you know, we don't. Examine the station, intruders on board. With an ASB? Oh, that seems absolutely terrible. They're walking into oxygen, let's just vent them. Vent the entire ship, basically. Turn off O2, in fact. Let these guys wander around. Please go through the weapons room, no? 
They're gonna go into the piloting room. You bastards. This actually really sucks because we have to actually deal with these guys now. Although we can just use the Lanius for that. Get the Lanius in here, move the remove the uh, current pilot. And let these guys suffocate. We do need to get out of here, but we should be able to make it out before the ASB lands. Okay, get out of the piloting room. You get back into the piloting room. At least now with the... With the uh, door system manned, they will try to make it to the back half of the ship. You're gonna be fine! Just like, wait for the oxygen to come back. Okay, we gotta jump. I think... Nicola is gonna survive. Yes, oxygen has come back. These guys are trying to bust down the O2 room. Let's just kind of stop them a little bit. They're gonna die. And Rockman has a lot of HP, they're dead. Okay, close all doors. We still need a pilot, but uh, we need the oxygen to come back in the room before we put uh, our good pilot in there. But it doesn't really matter right now that we have Lissandra uh, because Nicola you know, has 3 out of 13, that's not enough for a bonus to the evasion chance. So Nicola being the pilot is okay, or uh, Lissandra being the pilot is okay. Hopefully we can take out their uh, burst laser before they fire. Nope. Let's get that dodge chance up 20%. We got hit for one point, and that did take our dual laser offline. It's more important for that, that to be online than the stun, uh, the ion stunner. So we're just going to... Put the dual laser online, get the weapons repaired, and as soon as the oxygen comes back, we can have Nicola the pilot get back into the room. They have to bring their lasers online, so we should have enough time to maybe land one more shot, if we're lucky, to take their iron stunner out. Come on. Yes! Oh no! Yes! They, for some reason, moved the power into the basic laser instead of the... Uh, Instead of the burst laser. I'm, I'm appreciative of that because it means it's easier for me to sneak in more damage. But yeah, we this could have been a little bit worse. You know, if they hit us in the piloting room, if they killed Nicola, then I would have to, you know, power up the clone bay to keep him alive and have to deal with that nonsense. As it is, we should be fine. Stupid invaders in ASB. Pretty much the last two beacons were completely wasteful, but we couldn't have known that going into it. And also, it still could mean that that 10 scrap spent delaying the rebels is worth it if the last two beacons we go to is worth 10 scrap. It doesn't have to be the first two beacons we go to um, being worth it. It just has to be overall worth it, and you have to count everything in that. You know, because we would have had to go, go to one of those beacons anyways, so it wouldn't have mattered in order to get over here to the exit. Okay, Nicola slowly healing thanks to the clone bay. Ugh. This sucks, but fortunately they can't hurt us. With two bars of shields, the uh, heavy laser and the mini beam can't do anything. Even if... I'm going to pause for just a second while I take a drink. <clears> Throat's <throat> acting up a little bit today. Even if we only had one bar of shields, they still would not be able to hurt us if... I manned the shield room. And the reason for that, I looked this up, is that the heavy laser takes nine seconds to fire. The mini beam takes, I think it's 12. But due to the speed of the actual laser blast, they would fire. The laser blast would go pew, 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 smack into the shield. And if the shield system is manned, that bonus, what is it, like 10% bonus to uh, fast, faster recharge time would mean that the shields come on before the mini beam actually fired. It doesn't work if the system is unmanned, so whenever you come across a ship with a mini beam, heavy laser, and you only have one bar of shields, just man the, sh the shield room, and you won't take damage. Ideally, I think it, I think you might still take damage if you're on the NG ship, because it's, it's a literal smaller ship. The uh, shield sphere, the shield oval is smaller, but I don't know, regardless. This should be a pretty easy encounter. Basically, just fire fire everything. Take down these super shields, and we don't need to worry about our shield system at all. We don't need to fire on on, uh, on weapons. We can fire instead on their shields. And as a result, if their shields are down when the solar flare hits, they, they will have a lot of fires start aboard their ship. And if we can stun 
we can stun the NG in the room, maybe he can take fire damage or something. Yeah, look at that. Four fires started right there. And we only got one. And we can we can put out this one fire super easily. You just open up all these doors, I guess. Yeah, their shield room's on fire, their crew is stunned. I might be able to kill the crew here, but it's gonna be extremely difficult. No, you know what? I can't. I don't think I can. Because the fire's gonna destroy oxygen, oxygen, destroy engines, and yeah. They also finished the repairing. That's okay. Good encounter. We took, I think, one point of hull damage, but maybe zero. I wasn't paying attention to my ship when the fire started. Regardless, we're just gonna wait a second for the oxygen to come back slightly and then jump away. Promise to help. Yes, we have an ion weapon. We, we should be able to disable the satellite. Yes, we get 21 scrap. Good encounter. We can go to the exit. I don't think we need to buy anything. I think we can save scrap and maybe buy another weapon soon. Explore the asteroid field. We could take some damage here, or we could fight in the asteroid field. Now we just get nothing. I could go to two more beacons, but then I, then I would have to actually go through the rebels at the exit. And with two bars of shields, <laughs> two engine power, I think we're just going to get shit on. So you know what? We're going, we're going to ignore that. Now, where do we go? Zoltan or Abandoned? You know what? We have Alanius. Let's go to the Abandoned Sector. Maybe we can make some good stuff happen here. Get some blue options. Maybe buy an Augment for cheap. Who knows? With 55 scrap, we can buy, a, buy an Augment. I will give you four fuel. It puts me in a bad position, but if we get very lucky or find a store, we will be fine. This ship cannot hurt me. They didn't board me with any sort of drones. They only have two lasers. We should be fine to just hit them in the shield room. I said hit them in the shield room and then fire with the dual lasers. Oh my god. Their dodge chance is pretty good. I'll give them that. Might as well just auto-fire the uh, dual laser. Ideally, I'd like to start a fire in their shield room. Maybe what I should do is hit them in oxygen. Start a fire there, kill the crew. Probably not, but maybe if I get super lucky, I can do it. I should definitely not be shooting at the shield room with the stunner. I should be shooting at the O2 room to stop them from repairing it. Uh, whatever, just shoot them. We're not going to be able to kill the crew here. Yeah, fire at the O2 system. Don't let them get that repaired. Well, now I can fire it at shields. Mm. Yeah, we definitely need... We can do this if we have something like mind control. A boarding drone maybe would work. A teleporter, obviously, because we can just send crew over. Yeah, this is what I want to see. Them getting the shield room repaired, ionize them. Oh no, there's a fire in the room and we can't put it out. Good, one crew left and is trying to get the O2 system repaired. They're still putting out the fire. We got to keep them locked in here. Now ionize the O2 man so that he can't get that repaired. Maybe kill him, probably not, but this is like the only chance I have of killing the crew. They're trying to escape. Oh shit, I did not realize that. They're going to escape. I am a, I am an idiot. I I accept the criticism. Give it to me. Give it to me straight. Federation Science Craft is docked to a few Lanius ships. You hail them and ask what's going on. Greetings, we have been attempting to understand our region's newest visitors, the Lanius, although we have been ha uh, making little headway in deciphering their language. Well, we have a Lanius, so... Your Lanius, Lanius crew has tweaked the ship's translator to slowly improve itself over time. The data collected from your interactions with the Lanius could be very helpful to these scientists. They give me an anti-personnel drone. Hmm. We've got two of them. We can sell them at a store and hopefully buy some fuel. Yeah, I should not have let that ship get away. I should have just killed them. My bad. These guys are trying to escape because I have no fuel. That's understandable. That's reasonable. I'm not going to make the same mistake. Everyone's dying from this point forward until I get something else. A new weapon or a... I don't know what else. I don't know what I could possibly get to make me not kill people from now on. 
Hit him in the piloting room? Sure, why not? Stop that FTL charge from happening. Hit him in O2. Keep hitting them in weapons. Keep that bomb offline. I prefer to keep the bomb offline as opposed to the uh, chain laser. I will say one thing about this ship is that it's it's going to be slow to destroy ships only having the dual laser ion stunner. We really do need another gun at some point in the near near future. Hit him in hit him in shields. Yeah, stun them. Now we can ionize them in the shield room. It doesn't matter if the shield, shields are up, they will still get ionized. Hit him in the engine room, make them have to do a lot of repairs. Keep them out of the piloting room. They have a bomb back online. I would like to take out the bomb, but I kind of would actually just prefer to uh, take out their piloting system or something. So we'll hit him in piloting, ionize their weapon system. That should take the bomb offline, if I'm a little bit lucky anyways. Yeah, there we go. Bomb's out. Piloting's out. They're dead. One fuel? Two fuel. That's, that's fine. And there is a store. We have 92 scrap plus two anti-personnel drones to sell. So let's go to the store, and then we can kind of jump up and around to the exit. Because there's not a lot of, of beacon space around here. There's only four jumps. So let's go to the store now, and then go up and around. And then hopefully we'll be fine. Hacking, medbay, backup battery. Hmm. 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 These have to be sold. Yeah, they sell for 17. So that's still, you know... 34 scrap, it's not bad. We have to buy all the fuel. But now what do we get? Ion Blast Mark II is interesting in that it can permanently take down enemy weapons, or not weapons, enemy shields. But it's a lot of scrap and it takes three power, so we're not gonna be able to use it for some time. The charge laser is the same thing, but for only two weapon upgrades, I can use it. I don't need the ion stunner if I just replace, you know, an ion weapon with a charge laser. You know, the dual laser takes 10 seconds to fire, the charge laser would take 10 seconds to fire, and we can fire in, an, in another two shots. So I'm kind of thinking that the laser charger is what I want to buy here. It's not perfect, but they have nothing else for me. Hacking, hacking's okay, but um, I think right now we just need more weaponry. I don't want to spread myself too thin. So yeah, let's get the laser charger. I don't really like the laser charger, but it's okay for now. I'm not gonna get the uh, weapon upgrade though, just in case we do find a, a beacon that's going to sell us an augment. That would be really cool. Request, request some scrap. They cannot spare any, and we don't get any combat either. That's kind of bullshit. Attack them. I know that they said they didn't have any scrap, but we can still scrap the hull of their ship. I did not realize you could not you could get that encounter, or you could get a neutral payout from that. I wanted the combat if I couldn't get anything for free. I'm going to just strip the ship. Um, normally, I would be attacking that ship, but... One, two, three, four, one, two... Yeah, we just have to go. Um, normally, I would just attack the ship, but, or, but uh, we don't need sector scans. Ask for an alternative trade. Yes, I will give you, I would love to give you missiles or drone parts. Yeah, that's fine. For 46 scrap, you'll, I will give you three missiles. That's fantastic. Thank you, Lanius man. Now we can get the weapons upgraded. But I'm not going to yet. I'm, I'm going to keep moving forward. Again, just in case we can buy an augment, buying a weapon pre-igniter for 40 scrap would be amazing. Okay, this is just a simple Lania ship. They are going to hack us. Hopefully they don't hack us in a uh, bad room. That's fine. Doors is pretty much a perfect room to get hacked in. Send in the dual lasers. They have to land to take out that missile launcher. Pilot's wounded, but since their weapons are offline, he should be able to get the repairs done. A-OK. -okay. Don't care about their hacking. I want their... Uh, engines offline I think get get them out of the piloting room keep ionizing their shields we don't need to hit them in shields I am going to hit them in shields though just so that the uh, ideally the weapons personnel would go in there and get the repairing done instead he's staying in the room but we can ionize him stop him from getting repairs done 
keep damaging the system, kill him. Pick up some more scrap, 14 more scrap, that's okay. Distress Beacon, sure. I don't think we're going to get the ability to buy an Augment. Oh well. I will attack the Lanius. Three lasers and hack. That's not too bad. They hack the engines, which is kind of bad because we have to get the shields recharged fast enough to dodge the second dual laser shot here. So I might just send my Lanius into the shield room, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we did recharge the shields fast enough. Whether that was because he was in the room doesn't really matter. We also just dodged one of the shots, which is perfect. Okay, we got to take out their weapons, though. At least one bar. Them only having the single shot laser online is much better. Let's get you in. Now that, let's keep you there. I'm going to hit him in the hacking system next so you can actually man the station. Keep your dodge chance up. Keep keep training. Now we hit him in shields. Get them off of repairing the uh, hacking system. Hack him in weapons. Stop them from repairing that while we hit him in engines. And now just kind of keep the damage spread out so they can't just repair in one room. Weapons are back online. Doesn't matter, they're dead. 86 scrap now. Yeah, nothing. Nothing out of the slugs. Unfortunate, but not unexpected. Get some extra power and we can have the charge laser online instead of the ion stunner. I think this is better just because we can send in four shots instead of three with the ion stunner. We can always get the ion stunner online in just a second anyway, so it's not a total waste. Hail them. One fuel for four missiles. Unfortunately, I, I am still low on fuel. I can't do it. <laughs> Doubly unfortunately, I am going to go to the Zoltan homeworlds. I don't like it, but if I can pick up a Zoltan super shield, I would be ecstatic. Now, this is where I would have liked to spend my scrap. Getting a drone control system would be amazing, but we can't afford it. So instead, we buy all the fuel we can muster, and we get the hell out of here. Next goal, 20 scrap, get the piloting upgrade so we can go into the, neb into the nebula. This ship cannot hurt me. I like it, because it means that we can just kind of auto-fire our weapons on them, take their shields out. Lissandra might as well uh, fire in the charge laser once. Now we just wait for everything to get charged up. They can't hurt me, so we just we just wait. We just wait. Wait for the charged laser to get ma maxed, charged up to six shots. Do we hit them in med bay, oxygen, shields, weapons? We can't really kill their crew, so I think we just go on weapons to start. Take those out, and then we can kind of just charge laser the rest of their ship. You know, hit them once in the med bay start a fire, which I do appreciate, and in fact, get another shot in on them in the med bay. Hit them in the O2. Hit them in the shield room. Yeah, they're just letting the fire burn, but they only have one hull integrity in the ship. We can't kill them at all. That's okay. We get 18 scrap, and that's the 20 we need. So we are going to get immediately the piloting upgrade so we don't forget. And that way, when we go into the nebula, we have a better chance of getting blue event options. This ship sucks, actually. Three shields is a lot for this. Is this second sector? This might be third sector. Yeah, third, third sector. Three bars of shields is a lot. The fact that they have a double laser on top of it kind of sucks. We just have to try to, our best to dodge like once of every shot, one of every shot coming in at us. Charge laser is ready to go. Take out their weapons. We took out the one weapon and that's enough, honestly. Now that they can't ionize my shields, I can wait, get the charge laser active again. Unfortunately, they are trying to get the repairs done with the Mantis. That's, I mean, it's, unfor it's unfortunate that they're using two of them, because that means that the, that the repair is going to get done a lot quick, more quickly. Uh, maybe take out their shields? Good, start a fire! Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Now we can just go immediately on weapons, take out that ion. Yeah, that's, 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 that's more like it. 
If I had the Ion Stunner charging, I would be able to just land it in their shield room, but it doesn't matter because if they die, they're just going to spawn in the clone bay anyways. Then again, the fire is just completely ravaging their ship right now. They have no shields. Let's get the Ion Stunner going. Depower the charge laser because I can always power it up very quickly. And what do we do here? Can we kill the crew? I think we can if they only have one power in the O2. I think what I can do... Ah, oh, they're getting the weapons repaired, unfortunately. But I think if I just ionize the uh, the O2 system, we can kill the crew. I don't, I don't mind if they shoot me. I don't mind if they shoot at me. Mantis in the engine room is dead. O2 is now on fire. If we can ionize their... Uh, Clone Bay, I think we can kill the Mantis in there, but he might come back to life. Hmm. O2 is now depowered, so the Mantis in the shield room is probably going to be dead. The Mantis in the piloting room might be dead if, if a fire spawns in there in just a split second. Oh, wait. He came back to life. Okay, well, we have to kill him. I don't think we could have been able to, to uh, kill the crew, but maybe we could have. It was taking a while, though, so I just sped it up. Thinking about it, I think we could have killed the crew. Just continue to ionize the uh, clone bay. Whatever, whatever. Let's just keep moving. I'm going to jump in and out of the nebula, though, just to get as much beacon coverage as possible. I'm glad I did, because this is the peace envoy. Top priority now is getting to that quest beacon. Above anything else, we gotta get to that quest beacon. Look. I can't, I can't. I'm not, I'm not gonna do the great eye. I, I, <laughs> look, I can't do the great eye. It's just gonna get my crew killed. Oh, this sucks. We're gonna have to backtrack through the rebels at this beacon. It's not that bad because it is a nebula. That means we're not gonna have the ASB firing at us. But it's still annoying. Okay, depower the ion stunner. Get that dual laser going. I do not like that they have a missile launcher. But if I can land in four shots, maybe I can take it out before they fire. Yeah, let's see. Nope. We shot down one of their lasers out of midair. And that's that really sucks because it meant that we couldn't deal as much damage to the weapon system. There. Now the missile launcher is offline. That's what I wanted. So now I'm just going to wait for my charge laser to get pretty much fully charged. Five. And here's six. Now take out those weapons. Good. As soon as they get the heavy laser back online, that's when I know that they have two weapon integrity repaired. There might just be a mantis in there, that's why the uh, repairing's taking so long, but I think it's probably a rock, man, because this is a rock ship after all. Okay, they have no shields. We can just kind of auto-fire the charge laser a little bit here. Might as well move the Lanius onto the shield since we have fully trained on the... Weapons system. There's no reason to. We're not going to take any damage from this encounter as long as the missile launcher stays offline. I'm going to accept the surrender offer. Six fuel and eight missiles. That's good enough. Especially when I'm super low. Super, super low on the old fuel. Gotta get to this peace envoy, man. We will have to backtrack through the uh, through the nebula. If we can get the Zoltan Super Shield, it's worth it. I think. Maybe. It might not be. Hopefully it is. Hopefully we don't just get the Envoy. I would be extremely disappointed if we got the Envoy. Hail. Reconciliation. No bloodshed. Envoy. And the defense drone. Ugh. It kind of sucks, but whatever. Was that worth it? No, because we're going to have to go through, like, two uh, rebel fleet beacons at this nebula here. That that really sucks. 
So you know what? We just go to as many beacons as possible now. Try to get the engines uh, upgraded as much as possible. Yeah, we... Damn it. The super shield would have been worth it. But as is, no, no. We, we just have to... Uh, try not to die. And we're going to get hit by a lot of ASB shots. This might be the end of the run. And if it is, I'm okay with that. That's an Artemis. Take that offline ASAP. We took a little bit of damage. There's nothing really I could do about it. Their missile launcher fired very quickly. Okay, take out their med bay. Hopefully a, a fire spreads in there. That'd be ideal. No? Okay. I'm still going to fire at their med bay, though. NG's not going to die. Unless the fire spawns... Oh. That's all right. Fire in the door room. They're getting that repaired. Just kill them. A lot of scrap. Please, a lot of scrap. That's, that's a decent amount of scrap. We, we, we don't even have enough fuel to make it out. One, two, three, four, five. We need five fuel to make it out. We only have four. So we are going to have to destroy some of these rebel ships, unfortunately. Well, let's get the engines upgraded. That's going to be a important thing for us here. It is an Ion Storm, so they only have two weapons online. So I'm not going to depower anything else. I'm going to try to destroy the ship. We, we need the one fuel they have. So let's get everything powered up. If they fire a bomb at me, I'm just going to fire my weapons before they fire their, their weapons. Shields are going down. Doesn't bother me because I have a, a little bit of redundancy against their Vulcan right now. Okay. We need to keep hitting them in shields, though, because they have redundancy in the system. Now we can hit him in weapons. Well, now I'm I'm a little bit pissed that our weapon our shields are going to go down so much. Now we do need to hit him super hard in their weapons before their Vulcan keeps firing. Yeah. Don't bomb my shield room again, you assholes. Okay, at least we dodged that one. Keep their shields down. I basically have to destroy this ship. So, we're going to destroy the ship. Hopefully we start a bunch of fires. We can auto-fire now since they... Oh my god, my Zoltan's going to die. I mean, he's not going to die permanently. We can bring him back to life, but it's still super annoying. Just auto-fire, take their weapons out. We get one fuel, which is wonderful. Envoy is now slightly weaker at everything. I'm... I'm I bet you're glad you uh, joined the ship when you did. There's more death where that came from. Let me tell you what. Okay, everyone go back to your rooms. We got that repaired. Get those shields online. Get that engine powered, manned, and ready to go. This is... This might be the end of the run, and I'm okay with that. Flat gun. Burst Laser Mark II, Halberd Beam. The flat gun and the Burst Laser Mark II, 10 and 12 seconds to fire. And because the flak shots take a long time to travel, that means they're going to land at about the same moment. So we did take some damage. Shields are down. I'm just going to have to let the Envoy try to get that repaired. That means that the Halberd Beam will do damage to us. So I did, ju did just fire my weapons as soon as I could to uh, try to keep us safe there. Okay, doors are down. Honestly, that's not that bad. Weapons are down. Shields are down again. We can escape here in just a second. Yeah, we gotta go right now. Honestly, I don't care that the uh, shield shields are not fully repaired, because they will be repaired right here at this sector. Weapons are not online, but again, those will get repaired. Fuck. This sucks, because we actually can't do anything about the piloting system now, except get the Lanius in there. Turn off oxygen. Doors are down. So we just gotta, like, hope that the Lanius can destroy the, uh, the O2 in the piloting system, really. We have to keep it manned. This sucks. Piloting's gonna be destroyed. Yeah, this is the end of the run. Honestly, that's okay. This was a pretty not very good run. I, I don't know what to do about this situation. Piloting's destroyed. Now maybe get in there and get it repaired? 
Weapons are still down, shields are still down temporarily. This purse laser shot will do it. Since we have 0% dodge chance. Pilot's dead. Not dead, but he's wounded. So we're gonna get the Lanius in there. Ah. Okay. You know, I take ownership for that. Basically, I put the entire run on the line thinking, if we can get the super shield, it'll be worth it. And it was not worth it, because we got the Envoy instead. But that's okay, that was only the third sector, so that didn't take very long. I'm going to start another run here in just a moment, but since that was about 40 minutes, might as well end this episode. Thank you very much for watching, like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for some more FTL content in the future, and I hope to see you here again for the next run, which for me will be in about three seconds.